Hey folks, how's it going? Thank you for checking out the video. I'm Johnny and today I'm going to show you my Power BI custom background hack. So today's video is inspired by a video recently posted by Guy in a Cube. Now, for some reason, you managed to hear of my lowly little YouTube channel, but you haven't heard of Guy in a Cube. <laughs> Guy in a Cube is the original Power BI YouTuber. The channel is the biggest and the best for Power BI fans. When it comes to Power BI content on YouTube, Guy in a Cube is the GOAT. <laughs> it means greatest of all time. Ah, right, okay. Anyway, a few weeks ago, Adam from the channel posted this video. Five ideas to take Power BI reports to the next level. It's an awesome video, and I'll make sure I put a link in the description. This video is about taking reports to the next level, to the next level. Spoiler alert. In Adam's video, the first two tips were to use a custom background and to use a custom theme. Let me show you how to do that. Here we have a fairly simple Power BI report. This is currently just using the default themes out of the box. If we want to change the page background, then we go over to the format options and select page background. And from here, make sure the transparency is set to zero and we select add image. And select the image we want for background. And there we go. Now, if you want to add a custom theme, we go up to view. And in the themes, browse for themes, select the theme you'd like to upload. And there you are. What if I told you, you can combine those two steps into one. You can embed your custom background into your custom theme. Let me show you how. Here we are back at my vanilla report. Now, if I go to my browse themes, there we go. How awesome is that? Okay, so I guess I really ought to show you how to do it. So a custom theme is a JSON file that contains in it configuration for various Power BI formatting properties. In the old days, you just had to know what the properties were and handwrite your JSON. But these days, the tooling is much improved. You can go to powerbi.tips and use their advanced theme generator. That even lets you control the properties of specific visuals. Or these days, Power BI itself also has the ability for you to customize and then download a theme. Let's move across to my laptop and I'll show you how to add a custom background to your theme. So I'm here in Visual Studio Code, which I'm using as my editor for my JSON. And this is my Grayscale Analytics custom theme. So you can see I've defined some data colors and various other properties, including some properties regarding the text. This is the JSON that you'll need to add a custom background to your theme. So we are calling the visual styles property. We're calling the background, we're setting transparency to zero, and then we're declaring this image. Your image needs to be available as a URL. I've seen some people use Azure Blob Storage to store the image. I've seen some people use SharePoint Online. I'm gonna use Google Drive. So I'm going to copy this JSON and let's add it to my theme file. It needs to be placed between these two curly brackets. So I'm going to go to the bottom of my theme. I'm going to add a comma here. And then I'm going to insert the JSON from my background. Last thing I need to do is place the URL for my image here. Save that file and go back to Power BI Desktop and I'm ready to import my custom theme. I'm 
and voila. But you don't have to stop there. There's one more property that we can embed in our custom theme to give your report even more wow, wallpaper. Background is the property of the report canvas itself, whereas wallpaper is the white space around the report canvas. For example, I use this grey and white swirly pattern as a backdrop for my videos. Let's take a look at the JSON you'll need to set the wallpaper property in your custom theme. As you can see, JSON is pretty similar to what we use to set the background property, but this time we're setting a property called Outspace. Now in Power BI Desktop, the property is referred to as wallpaper. Outspace is how you need to refer to it when you're setting it up in JSON in your custom theme. Now in our theme, we've already referred to these properties of visual style and page, so I don't need this whole JSON snippet. I'm just going to grab here from where it says Outspace down to this square bracket. Let's copy that and go to our custom theme. Let's scroll to the bottom and we want to set the wallpaper property inside this page property we've already called. So I'm going to go down to this square bracket here, add a comma, paste in the Outspace JSON. Once again, last thing I need to do is add the image URL. Let's save that and head on back to Power BI Desktop. So we're back in our vanilla report. This time, when we import our custom theme, you could keep a collection of these themes so you can quickly and easily change the look and feel of your report. For example, let's go dark mode. Or how about something a bit brighter? This one's pretty funky. Maybe you prefer something a bit more like this. Now, nesting the JSON in the correct part of the theme file can be a bit tricky. So what I'll do is I'll make a copy of my theme available via my GitHub page. I'll make sure I put a link for you in the description, and then you can download it from there and customize the file as you see fit. That was my custom background hack. What do you think? Is it a technique you think you might use? If you've got any questions or feedback, please do head on into the comment section below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along for more Power BI content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.